In this video I'm going to go over the process of baking maps for this hammer so that I can use those maps in the texturing process with generators and other procedural functions. So to bake the maps I want to go to the texturing texture set settings tab and you'll see down here that there are a bunch of options for maps that we can bake and I'm going to need all of them except for the ID map because I didn't actually create any material IDs on the uh, the mesh. So to bake maps I go to bake mesh maps button and I can turn off ID because I don't need um, the material IDs and since I did not create a high poly mesh for this I'm going to choose the use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. That way it will basically bake onto itself and for the purposes of the thickness, position, curvature, ambient occlusion, world space normal, that is all fine. That information will bake just fine. So I also want to set the output size to 2048. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to set the anti-aliasing to the subsampling 4x4. The higher the sampling, the higher quality the uh, baked maps will turn out, but also the higher the sampling rate, the longer it takes to bake them. So I'm going to choose the 4x4 four four, and then I'll click the Bake M Hammer Mesh Maps button and it will start to bake the maps. And this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the video while the maps bake out. Alright, so those maps are all baked out. You can see that there is now a map associated with each of these slots and uh, that means that we're ready to start the texturing process and I will start that in the next video.